Hello preschool friends. Welcome back to school again. My hand says hello. My hand says hello. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hello. Hola. My hand says hola. My hand says hola. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hola. Salam alaikum. My hand says salam alaikum. My hand says salam alaikum. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam alaikum. Ni hao. My hand says ni hao. My hand says ni hao. Every time I see my friends, my hand says ni hao. Konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. Every time I see my friends, my hand says konnichiwa. And salam. My hand says salam. My hand says salam. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam. And sin chow. My hand says sin chow. My hand says sin chow. Every time I see my friends, my hand says sin chow. Hello, everyone. Let's see what day it is today. I have my calendar. And it is N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R is our new month. Do you remember what it's called? That's right, November. Let's see what day of November we have. One, two, and yesterday was November three, so I'm going to put a three on yesterday, Tuesday. And today is number four. That's right. So I'm gonna put a four on Wednesday for today. So today is Wednesday, November 4. Can you say that with me? Today is Wednesday, November 4. That's right, we're starting our new month of November. And we're ready to do our ABCs together. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Let's do the letter sounds we know. A. A, 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 apple, B, 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 bear, C, 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 cat, D, 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 dog, E, a, 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 elephant, F, 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 fish, and our new letter G makes the sound G, G, G for goat. Those are our letters. Well, this week we've been talking about community helpers, and those are people who have jobs that kind of help us. Like on Monday, we talked about builders, people who help build houses and furniture, and we read the story um, about the beaver who was a carpenter and built a toolbox. So today we're going to learn about another community helper. And this community helper is someone who takes care of our teeth, dentist. So the story I have today is called The Crocodile and the Dentist. And look at the crocodile's big teeth. He looks like he should go to the dentist to get his teeth taken care of, doesn't he? Let's see what happens when he goes. Oh, there's the crocodile heading off to see the dentist. 
and he says, I really don't want to see him. He doesn't want to go see the dentist. I wonder why. But I must. There's the dental office with a little picture of a tooth on the outside. And here goes Crocodile. And the dentist is inside his office and the dentist says, I really don't want to see him, but I must. He doesn't want to see the Crocodile. I wonder why. And then the crocodile comes in and the dentist sees him. They see each other and they both go, ah! The crocodile says, shall I go through with it? The dentist says, shall I go through with it? Should they do it? Let's see. The crocodile says, I must be brave. And the dentist says, I must be brave. I think they're both maybe a little bit afraid of each other. Maybe a little nervous. Oh, I'm so scared, says the crocodile, and I'm so scared, says the dentist. I just noticed something. Look right there. The crocodile has a tooth that looks all brown and black in the middle. It looks like he might have what we call a cavity, which is a hole in your tooth and that can kind of hurt if it gets deep so it's good to go to the dentist and have the dentist fix it for you so i think the crocodile might be afraid that when the dentist tries to fix his tooth it might hurt and i think the dentist is a little bit afraid that the crocodile with the big teeth might hurt him we'll see what happens crocodile's ready he goes I'm ready for the worst, he says. I'm ready for the worst, says the dentist. So he's putting his tool in the crocodile's mouth to clean out that tooth with the cavity in it. Ouch, says the crocodile. And the dentist says, ouch. So the dentist touched the tooth and I think it hurt a little bit. And so the crocodile bit the dentist's arm because he was hurting. Oh no. What an awful thing to do, said the crocodile. He's sad because his tooth hurt. What an awful thing to do, says the dentist. He's sad because the crocodile bit his arm. But getting angry won't help. But getting angry won't help, says the dentist. So the crocodile opens his mouth again and the dentist is putting something on the tooth to fill the hole and make it feel better. So first he had to clean it out and now he can put on the good stuff to make that hole feel better, to stop it from hurting. Not much longer. He's putting some more on. Not much longer, says the dentist. Almost done. And he's done that bad tooth that cavity is filled in and the bad tooth is fixed phew says the crocodile phew says the dentist thank you so much says the crocodile see you again next year thank you so much see you again next year says the dentist I don't really want to see him again next year, says the crocodile. I don't really want to see him again next year, says the dentist. And the crocodile says, so I must never forget to brush my teeth. And the dentist says, so you must never forget to brush your teeth. Because if you brush your teeth, you will brush all the germs away that can make a hole in your tooth and cause a cavity. So if you do a really good job of brushing your teeth, the crocodile brushes his teeth really well every day, maybe two times a day, that will keep him from getting another hole in his tooth or another cavity. And then if he goes to see the dentist, the dentist will just clean his teeth with a special toothbrush and he won't have to have another filling, it won't have to hurt. 
So very important to brush your teeth so that when you go see the dentist, the dentist just checks your teeth over and cleans them up. But if you do have a problem with your tooth, it's good to go see the dentist because sometimes a toothache can really hurt for a long time and the dentist can make it better. The crocodile felt much better after the dentist fixed his tooth. Well, today, to help us to remember to brush our teeth, we are going to make giant toothbrushes. And these aren't real toothbrushes, so you probably don't want to really brush your teeth with them, but it's just a fun thing to help us remember to brush our teeth. So I cut a long strip of colored paper, and you can cut a piece of colored paper like this from the colored paper in your school supply kit. You can pick whatever color you like. I kind of like purple, so I'm using purple. And what shape did I make with this colored paper? It has two long sides and two short sides. Do you remember what that's called? That's right, it's a rectangle. And I'm going to put some glue on just one end of my rectangle toothbrush. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Put some glue on one end and one side. So I'm putting it right here. I put some glue all along here. I'm not going to go all the way down because this part will be the handle of my toothbrush. But this part up here is the top of my toothbrush, or sometimes we call it the head of the toothbrush. And that's where I'm going to put my bristles, the part that actually brushes my teeth. So I also cut some white paper into some small, what shape are these? That's right, small rectangles. And I'm going to glue my small rectangles right here on the big one. There's one two, and three, and four, and maybe I'll do one more. Let's see, I have a little bit of glue here. And number five. So I have one, two, three, four, five white rectangles on my toothbrush and those are the bristles of my giant toothbrush so that I can pretend to brush my teeth just like that and then if you'd like to you can get your markers or some stickers if you have stickers at home those would be fun you can decorate your toothbrush and then you can pretend to brush your teeth with your giant toothbrush. But remember to really brush your teeth with your real toothbrush. It's a good idea to brush your teeth at night before you go to bed and in the morning. So those are two good times a day when it's really important to brush your teeth and keep them clean. And don't forget to go to the dentist so the dentist can also clean your teeth with a special toothbrush. And sometimes the dentist will also put something special on children's teeth to keep them from getting cavities. It's called a fluoride treatment and that protects your teeth. So when you get a little bit older, you might get one of those. Well, that's all I have for today and we will see everybody at our Zoom meeting. And if you wanna show me your giant toothbrush Friday at our Zoom meeting, I would love to see it. Goodbye for now.